All right, so I'm going to do just a quick video on how to create a simple lab using virtual machines uh, with VMware Workstation Player. And today I'm going to do this using PFSense. So what this allows us to do is really have a, a mini network set up uh, with our virtual machines. So let's take a look. So I've got PFSense already installed. So if you haven't installed it before, you're going to have to learn and go through the steps to install PFSense in a virtual machine. The key to make this lab work is you have to give PFSense two network interfaces. So let's take a look at the settings for that. So when I install this, I added two network adapters. Now the first one is bridged, meaning it's just going to connect to my home network here at my house. And so that's bridged, so I'll get an IP address for my home network. Uh, the second network adapter is on a custom virtual network. I chose VMNet 5. I know VMware, you want to stay away from VMNet 0, 1, and 8. Uh, any of the other numbers should be fine. I just happen to choose 5 for this. So that's on VMNet 5, which will basically create a small virtual network that my other VMs I create can be connected to as well. All right, so PFSense is installed. You can see it. my WAN has an IP address. The LAN has a second IP address. And then uh, I also have a second virtual machine running Windows Server 2012 R2. Now, when you install your other virtual machines, it doesn't matter what it is. If it's a Windows Server, Windows 10, uh, you know, a different Linux distribution. The key here, though, is when you set it up, it only needs one network adapter. But make sure it is attached to that same VMNet. So it's also on VMNet 5 on this one. And so that means that it's going to be on the same network as the LAN interface on my PFSense virtual machine. So basically, I've got a little private network going between my PFSense firewall and this Windows Server 2012. Now, just to show you, once you have that set up, you should be able to go to, to the LAN address of your PFSense firewall from your other virtual machine. So I'm going to log into that. Now, a couple things I did with PFSense. Um, here we go. Is I set it up as a DHCP server. So my PFSense firewall is the DHCP server for my network. So I just went through and did the, the basic setup for that. But now I can attach any virtual machine I want. As long as I put on that VMNet 5, it's going to fall behind this firewall. Now I can still access the internet because it's going through PFSense now to get to the internet. And so any kind of like content filtering, uh, any like intrusion detection prevention stuff I want to do, uh, any kind of activities I'd want to try to test or learn on PFSense, I can do um, in a virtual environment. So it's not perfect. You can't do everything with it, of course, but it's an easy way to set up a small virtual network and start to learn about how to use PFSense. You could probably do this with other uh, virtual machines as well. If you had a different um, open source router package you want to install and test, you could do the, kind of the same thing using VMware Player. Hope this is helpful. If you've got any questions, throw them in the chat.